welcome to segment four. In this part of the video, I'm going to take you through um, the waist seam alterations and what is involved in actually accomplishing this. So um, again, I'm going to show you what has been done more so than how to do it, but it gives you a really good idea. So here on the back neckline, I've just basted it down because I have to do some edge pick stitching. I'm going to leave that for later when I do all the handwork. Now the other thing is I've marked the um, alteration lines on the waistline. So it's a little bit from the bodice and a little bit more from the skirt. So that means I have to unpick the waist seam from the back to the side seam. And in the skirt, as I mentioned at the beginning of the project, there are several layers of fabric. There's the lace, there's a layer of tulle, then there are two layers of the lining. So we're looking at four layers of skirt, and I don't want them to separate. So um, always a good idea to fuse layers together before you take it apart. And uh, here around the zipper, I've done it as well on both sides. Uh, fuse them together so that when you're working on them, they stay together so you don't have to realign them. If you need to realign, that means something is out of alignment, but if they're in alignment and you want them to stay in alignment, then do a fuse stitching to hold everything together while you're working on it. What I'm looking at right here is the, the waist in the back, the top fabric and the lining fabric on both sides where it had to be lifted more from the bottom or more from the skirt than from the bodice. And here you can kind of see. And I've basted it in gray so I can see it and it's not uh, going to leave any marks. So what I did first is marked the sewing lines with the marking line and then pinned those two lines together and then basted those two lines together and basted each side and now I've also basted the, uh, the lining and the top bodice and what I did is I pinned them back together just to compare from edge to edge the depth of the seam so that they're all the same. So when you're working on the seams, always check. Always check to make sure that you've got equal, the, the right depth of seam and then pin it back together to the point where you can see how it's going to go back together and see if it all meets up, especially the intersection at the waist. So check the intersection, the waist seams to the waist seams. Because we've taken from the skirt and from the bodice, we have to make sure that when it goes back together, it all lines up exactly. The skirt and the top um, bodice, that those seams here line up, not just on the, t on the top, but also on the lining when they go back together. So yeah, just to repeat, after you've basted everything before you machine stitch it, pin it back together to a point where you can see that it's actually going to fit together and it's going to meet up before you machine stitch because you don't want to do it twice. The other thing you want to make sure is that where you've taken it up, where you've lifted along the skirt, that the pattern that you end up with here in the lace if you see this pattern, is the same on the other side. You want to make sure that when it's sewn, that those patterns are mirror image from one side to the other. Again, that's just another check before you actually sew it together. Here I've pinned back the lace that will go over top. I'll just unpin one of them here so you can see. I've just pinned them out of the way because they will go back over and be sewn over that waist seam. But to keep them out of the way, I've pinned them back. You can also baste them out of the way as well.
All of the waist seams in the back have now been stitched and the threads have been tied off. There's a few strays here, but you can see this has not yet been pressed. None of the seams have been pressed. But now they're going to be pressed, but make sure you remove all of your fuse stitching and your basting lines because you can actually leave an impression of that thread when you press it. So remove all of your basting stitches, all of your fusing stitches. Now we're ready to finish these seams again. They've been stitched. Now we're going to press them. Now the waist seams have all been sewn and finished and once you're satisfied that all of the seams, the waist seam and the back center seam line up, everything is laying in position and the back neckline is meeting in the right place. Everything has been adjusted along the back here so that it doesn't gape. Then you can start putting the uh, dress back together in reverse order. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start reconnecting the lining to the top fabric. As you can see it's completely separate and all of the areas that were connected along the seam lines and along the waistline need to be reconnected and then the next step will be to uh, put the zipper back in to its place in its new position and you can see that if I pull the zipper out I didn't remove it completely but you can see now the zipper extends uh, over the top by the amount that we took it in. Here I have the amount still marked the amount that it should be shorter so I haven't taken that out. I'm going to use that as my reference point just to make sure that what we've taken in in the waist is equal to the distance that I had pinned in the first place so just every time you do alterations, alterations just keep comparing to all of your uh, notes and to your marks so that um, everything will be in the right place when you're done. Because we don't want to go into this again and do it over again, it's, it's a lot of work and it's quite detailed and uh, we want to get it done first, uh, done right the first time. So after we've got the waist sewn, we can reconnect the lace down over the skirt to disguise the join which is what they've done now I left one of the applique hanging by a thread where the other three I've taken them off and I pinned it back to hold it into place so now as you can see it is a reminder of where it actually goes so that we don't put it on upside down so uh, make sure you still have access to the um, inside of the dress before we put the lining back on to be able to hand stitch all of the lace back into place around the waist.